Hi everyone, my name is Annie. I oversee the pathway here at New Life. Uh, today I am speaking to you about the book of Hosea, chapters 8 through 14. Um, and I'll probably um, echo some of the things that Ruth said. She described the book of Hosea so beautifully that this is a love story of um, how the Lord feels about us and how he felt about Israel and how he sent out his prophet Hosea to take um, a harlot, a, a prostitute for his wife so that he would know um, exactly how the Lord felt about his people in Israel. And so um, just want to talk about chapters 8 through 14 are about um, Israel coming into captivity and how the Lord kept saying, um, this was the judgment that you called for based off of the idols that were put before him. And he wanted to bless Israel. He took them out of captivity in, um, in Egypt and he showed them this beautiful land and he took them to this place and he blessed them. And yet Israel fell into idolatry. They thought that these other things that they had built um, for themselves were the things that were causing them to prosper. And the Lord says to them, I will take those away. Um, you've assigned princes and kings that I have not approved. And so in chapter 10, um, on verse 10, he talks about when I bind them for their two transgressions. And those two transgressions were their faults and their alliances. And um, in verse 12, he says, um, so for yourself, righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and reigns righteousness on you. And what he was saying is, get righteousness that you, you will sow um, or you will reap mercy. So if you come back to the Lord, if you repent, then you will be clean and um, and I will be merciful on you. And so as we start this 40 day fast, this is going to give us that opportunity to sow for ourselves righteousness, to put off idolatry, to put off the things that we put before the Lord and he will um, will reap mercy in exchange for that. And so I think that this is just that perfect time of being able to put off those idols and come clean to the Lord. He doesn't choose um, to put judgment on us. He wants to be merciful always. He loves us so much. And that picture of Hosea, you know, the Lord says, go to her again, send her children out to bring her back. The Lord did that with Israel. He does it over and over. And he does the same thing with us. He continuously goes and tells people to turn us back, that he wants to give us mercy, that he wants to love us. And um, as leadership has sought the Lord in this time to say, hey, let's do a 40 day fast, that we would be able to come before him, not just as leaders, but as a congregation, we would put off those unrighteous things and come back to the Lord that his heart is for us. And um, in Deuteronomy 6, 4, it says to love the Lord God with all our heart and mind. That's exactly what he had said to Israel. This is it. Don't put anything before me. I don't want there to be anything that comes between us. And it was the same thing for Hosea and Gomer. The Lord said, go back to her, purchase her. Even once she went into slavery, that he bought her and brought her back home. And um, I think that visual is 1 Corinthians 13, 4, where the Lord tells us what love is and what it's not. And it's not, um, it doesn't hold wrong. Like the Lord, once we repent and we give it all back, that he releases forgiveness. And so I want to challenge you in this 40 day fast to go to the Lord, seek righteousness, that you would reap mercy from him and that he would come back to you um, in full in full glory and that you would come back to him as that unblemished uh, bride, that we would come back and say, Lord, we don't want to put anything before you. Would you take what isn't from you and, and exchange it for just your goodness, for your joy, for your love, for your mercy, for your grace, and for your favor, not just financially, but in our homes, in our relationships, our friends and our family and all of these things. So I want to encourage you to continue to read with us as we go through the prophets, um, ask the Lord what it is that you're supposed to put off in this fast. 
whether it be um, social media or how much time you spend on your phone, whatever the case, there's almost always food involved. Put something off. What is it that comes between you and the Lord? Um, What is it that you run to when you feel lonely or hurt or broken? Find out what that is. That's what the Lord wants to take from you and, and give you something beautiful in exchange for that. So thanks, church, for joining us as we read through the prophets. We want to encourage you to continue with us. Bless you.